but every woman needs to be financially independent that's the thing actually people don't uh, understand that if a woman gets empowered it, she empowers the entire family Goa and wellness are getting more and more synonymized by the day as we go through Goa's stories and the people who are making it happen on the ground over here. But Twilight Organic and its founder Seema Rani Naik seem to have found one sweet spot that perhaps you and I were missing all along. They understand that there is a certain importance in the way your wellness smells, looks, feels and keeps you comfortable under your skin and in your mind. I am here talking today to Seema in her beautiful store in the heart of Goa and I don't want to give you much away till I start talking to Seema and let you hear it yourself. Seema, this is this is a very very cute store right in the middle of Panji. We are in, we are in Panji, isn't it? Yes, yes. And uh, <laughs> tell us how did you get here and uh, what's the story behind Twilight Organic? Okay, thank for the, first of all, I would like to thank you Sonam for such a beautiful introduction and uh, this uh, this is my dream actually. So I was working for the, the bank when I was posted here. That time uh, during the pandemic uh, when I came to my home once and my mom was crying. So I asked that why you are crying. So she told that people are losing jobs, they are suffering, they are uh, facing so much of uh, nonsense and the so much of chaos is going on so then then once I just came across uh, Sandeep Maheshwari uh, one video where he was telling everybody talks about people are losing job people are uh, there is a lack of job but who, how many of us are there to create jobs yeah we always blame government and all these people the entire the like recession or something but how many people of us think about creating jobs and all so then that was the bulb on moment to uh, create something and then uh, this twilight uh, came into the picture and uh, twilight came for the three reasons so when the idea came that okay let's start uh, something to create jobs, but what to what is to do? There is a lot to do. Yeah. So I was always fascinated about uh, skincare products because people also used to tell me, and now also they say they look at my skin and they believe in the product actually. Correct. Has yeah. <laughs> so that's why I thought of uh, like uh, starting some beauty products. Simultaneously, I'm very much fascinated about the perfumes. I love aromas good perfumes so that's why both i combine and i could I live here throughout the entire day yeah. it smells that good <laughs> yeah so whenever people also come to the store they pause for sometimes and this just uh, smell that fragrance and i agree it takes and away it takes them away from the city yes. smells because you're in the heart of the city otherwise yeah. goa smells fantastic yes, yes but this is the city it has its noise it has its yeah. pollution and punji's gotten very busy yeah yeah so you so, give them a little haven <laughs> yeah so that is why i started this and uh, this I, I started this natural products these are the most of them are organic where we don't use even preservative few needs preservative because uh, the product uh, is not frequently used hmm. so for that we use the natural preservative okay so this is the thing then after starting the product i think of like what about the packaging because if i give you the numbers then every year 120 billion of plastic material goes straight away for the dump from the beauty industry right. out of which wow. 80 millions of the plastic goes to the ocean if it continues then 2050 we will find more plastic in the ocean than the aquatic animals then the second thing is every year 18 million forest is destroyed to make packaging boxes okay so that is the 70% of the pollution. So we decided we will start packaging with the sustainable. Mm. Like you can see yeah. the glass jars. Yeah. For the soap also we don't use paper. Okay. Paper cover. Okay. Boxes. We use the cloth boxes. Okay. Even for the I was suggested by some people to package again it into 
uh, that uh, glass jars into the uh, the paper box right but then i said no because that will be anyway not going to be used hmm. why on the name of fancy designing fancy things we will again put that and we will dump it correct okay so that was the reason why i uh, only keep it in the glass uh, glass jars and we don't again pack it in the paper box i was going to ask you this this was going to be one of my questions and you kind of almost drew me to it organic is the new buzzword and yeah. everybody is saying we've gone organic biggest brands have said we've gone organic but there's still chemicals in yeah. it in some form or the other yeah. either in the product itself yeah. or in the packaging that they yeah. have uh, how do you do this differently yeah so organic means you know the product are from the natural resources yeah like like what i have mentioned uh, earlier also we don't use preservative even hmm. not in our soap our body butters are made limitedly so that we don't have to use the preservative into it okay. we use oil we use the uh, uh, butter some of the natural preservatives yes. that are there already and most of them are if you can see uh, those are vegan product also because these are all plant based Achha. not the animal extracted okay okay the oils the butter butter we use chia butter mango butter then the cocoa butter all these are natural products hmm. so this makes actually product the organic the second thing for our face scrub and face pack the shampoo bar we use the natural uh, preservative so that it will uh, uh, leave for a uh, longer the okay. the life span will be longer okay. there we use because there are some products some like products. moisturizers yes. and all or creams and hmm. stuff which you end up using over let's say a month month and a half or so that How is only that? body butter that is remains for one month and we use in a limited quantity okay. we don't uh, we are not into a mass production hmm. so that we have to keep it for years and you keep the the packaging also small the the box is yes. also small as the maximum small, is a 100 uh, gram ah, okay. so that uh, it will so that it remain. gets ha, yeah exhausted. gets over. at least 2 months it gets over hmm. so people also don't have to worry about because we don't uh, frequently we it's not the big dabba or no, whatever no, it is no, take it so khatam nahi hoga yes khatam nahi hoga aisa nahi hai to isiliye hum log smaller pack hi use kiye hain so that their skin actually gets the result rather than they will keep it then again we add some chemicals to it again you are giving toxic to your body because skin is the largest organs and we and i we generally focus in the skin care rather than makeup and all beauty products right i didn't because, see any uh, because what happens you know that is my uh, that is our vision also to Achha. because if you have a good skin makeup will you will naturally glow. naturally glow and the makeup should be something which enhance your beauty rather than cover your beauty oh you're getting my point yes so makeup so you shouldn't not, have any blemishes or yeah, acne to start off so with. yes so that that is my main motive that you have a beautiful skin you give a touch up to it to enhance your the uh, beauty in a like liner or lipstick a little bit of here and there you should not be hidden behind the entire range of makeup that is sure. my motto of telling that so many products are coming up i am not against anybody or any makeup industry or anything makeup is good it enhances but i am trying to tell that my purpose is to two things that look good naturally second thing use makeup no worry but the thing is use to the extent which enhance your beauty rather than hiding your natural beauty because all people are actually beautiful the makeup industry sometimes they, what they do they just uh, uh, put the tag that if you don't use it you are not beautiful hmm. i am against that hmm. i am not against the makeup industry entirely but the uh, the uh, mindset they are creating is without makeup you don't look nothing you look nothing ha ah, your identity is with your smile with your twinkling eyes yeah. you are happy inside you have a glow skin true just go with that you are born beautiful i'm inclined to ask you and i travel <laughs> i travel fairly uh, which i'm sure yeah. now by now a lot of uh, you know uh, what do you suggest for someone like me my lips sometimes become a little yeah. dry because of the frequent use of lipstick because i'm on a lot of yeah. interviews or in meetings mm-hmm. where like you've said yeah the the beauty industry has kind of made us feel if there is no lipstick you're not looking good <laughs> or if there is no kajal you're not looking good yeah. uh, what would you recommend for someone like me if i wake up in the morning and then you You, if i say about my product skincare routine 
you can use the lip balm okay. which doesn't have any physics it has butter and oil okay we use the coconut oil or the olive oil with the shea butter and mango butter okay so this is only butter so it naturally see whatever you put in your skin that actually goes inside your yeah. epidermis and hypodermis right so it heals from inside yeah and night time is the time where your body and mind gets healed so night if you use your skin care routine you use a little bit of body butter now we are introducing even the coming up with the aroma oils hmm. which is edible also because it's very unique you can have in your juice or milk or any food so it will heal from within okay so we are coming up with that product okay. i am just announcing here like it's interview so that's why so you night time you use the lip balm and before any lipstick try to have a touch of lip balm hmm it will what it will make a layer on it okay so when you put the lipstick so then the lipstick is yes, not able to sort of percolate down yes, to the yes. to the skin skin so that's okay. why na i i always try to tell people that you use this and have a natural pink lips then you put whatever color you want to put ah so that's the thing actually you what's can, your background like where do you where do you come from is this is this something that you've done uh, for a long time or this mm-hmm. happened to you this happened as i have mentioned at the beginning that uh, i am from odisha i was into syndicate bank then it moved to canara bank so i traveled three four cities like mm. i worked in odisha i worked in hyderabad then bombay then here in goa then in the karnataka also so i always i am a people's person communicate with people want to know about the issues want to know about their problems and i see people also i will, uh, people generally say i am very observant actually so that's why i notice people and i find that the, this people needs women needs to be empowered this women need to be financially independent so for that also we created this to generate more employment for the women you've come a certain distance and yeah. now you have uh, clients in the b2b space hmm. you have certain hotel chains uh, taking up your products i also saw you as the gift partner for a major uh, beauty yeah, competition beauty. how did these things happen and how is it going yeah so every time i think people should grow in personally and professionally so when it is going good so then i then the idea came to my mind that how more people can grow yeah because first we started the, when we started of gifting something people generally gift uh, people other people for any different occasion so when one person gives and the people like they again search for the same brand okay the idea of gifting comes from there yeah so i got a bulk order for the diwali and people uh, so many people took from me i am a bni actually so from there also i got the business and uh, people who got this product they again ask for that product repeat customers are repeat. the best uh, compliment yes. a business could and get uh, right and you won't believe when somebody gave uh, somebody gave uh, some gift to some someone uh, someone purchased and gave, gave it to somebody and the other person who got the gift she Uh, got the like she searched for the brand and she came to the store and she told me that i was searching for this store and the products are really amazing i want to again buy and all so that was the best compliment i can think that uh, you can ever get of course it is because <laughs> when let's say you've placed your product yeah. somewhere somebody uses it and that's the again, natural yeah. growth right all of us yes. would maybe go into digital marketing yeah. and 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 uh, word of mouth and all of that yeah. that's fine yeah. but when one customer refers the other yeah, or perhaps who you never know who's yes. using your product so from right there i am getting the bulk order from the people also mm. who got my product and they may and be associated yes. with the corporate yes. or a hotel chain yes so that's why now we came up with a gifting partner to the hotels also for the sweet rooms sure then again the uh, the partner to the tiara vista uh, the beauty pageant so like that we are uh, doing the corporate gifting slowly we are expanding so that more and more people uh, my motto is not a small group of people it's like you should have 
like uh, as ma as many as you can. So that's why the sky is the limit. You have two sides to you, and yeah. I've known that of you, knowing you previously as well, and communicating mm -hmm. with you during this time. uh and that also transpires in your book from yeah. ordinary to extraordinary you focus on this space yeah. a lot you featured three very prominent women in your book as yeah. well um tell us about that side of you yeah so this is my book ordinary to extraordinary i am always into exploring things whether it is travel whether it is exploring life so i have gained so many experiences and i am open to many things like people are like you know i i, I think i have got all the facility uh, whenever i wanted my parents have given me almost all the facilities in the life but still they kept me always grounded hmm. they took me to the village they took me to the people needy people and i have seen my father helping so many poor and needy people so they always try to keep me grounded i can uh, live in a mansion i can live in a hut they have taught me like that so what happens that actually uh, made me writing this uh, book to show my experience to uh, to inspire even one person gets inspired is also very much like your life purpose is fulfilled okay and the first person who gets in inspired the the smallest is my niece <laughs> she always says that i want to be like her i want to be like her. Wow, i always say feeling. yes Th that's a great feeling i can't explain and i always say that you will become more than me wow i always in so like so this book is all about uh, my life journey how no matter what life throws at you it's you who decides on the face of life to tell that what you want and what you become there yeah. is a certain sense of calm around you yeah. uh is that is that something that you you practice or it just comes yeah from college like I, my father actually inspired me in that also because he was a yoga practitioner like he used to do yoga and pranayam so from there i uh, started my journey of yoga pranayam i used to do all those things uh, though after his uh, death i was very irregular in that so then i lost my control in my life also it took me four and half years to gain that and my mentor dr meghna puja puneet and nayan ma'am helped me a lot to become what to you know gain my own power so in that process of gaining my own power i learned about myself my healing then uh, the other people also that how other people are suffering and everybody has not something or the other issue maybe someone is very success but whether the personal life is good whether they are mentally sound yeah you have heard about so many billionaire millionaire committed suicide correct why because money is not everything correct finding yourself is very important that's why i did my nlp also from ysr i am a certified nlp trainer and i now i am doing my yoga teachers training program and uh, eft so that i can help more and more people through my journey through my experience and i am a life coach so that's why i counsel people also so to help more than more people you've really, been helped by somebody so you want yes, to yes i want to, to and this is one thing i want to put here uh, my mentor always say if you have something good in you and you are not giving back to the society you are the most selfish person in the world that actually hit me hard that i am working for myself only let's give it to the society let's help people Seema you're a wonderful person <laughs> and my conversations with Seema can continue even beyond this but that's our time here and I think uh, I've loved uh, my conversations with her I love the the products that she's put out for self care and I love the conversations that she is capable of having even as someone who believes in the sanity and the beauty of the mind as well as the body please feel free to drop by her store at uh, at Panji and of course the address is something that we'll put it out there for you but yes feel free to drop by 
check what she does here and even talk to her she's a wonderful person to be around thank you for watching us this is vigor from the ground in goa